this video has been supported by my Patreons. With the support I get from them, I can give you guys regular content and updates. It also helps me improve my channel and go to overseas conventions more often. So what are you waiting for? Go check me out on Patreon and from just $1 a month, you can support me and the channel, get personal fursuit making help, and get some great rewards. Hope to see you there. Enjoy the video. Hey everyone and welcome to a Maker's Guide. A guide on getting your foot up in this fandom from the perspective of a fursuit maker. Today I'm going to cover something I see a lot in my YouTube comment section. A lot of you are complaining, oh, I don't have any furry friends. Well, today we're going to help you fix that. Get social, get communicating, get yourself out there. Today I'll be focusing on online communication, specifically as it is the most common communication method in the fandom. So let's get into it. First of all, we're going to talk about first content. So how you introduce yourself and how you show them what you're about. I guess I should show you what not to do first. Hi. 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 Instead, message them. Not just with a hi or hey, but an actual conversation topic. For example, hey, I really like your persona. What was your inspiration for them? Or even, hey, saw you all local and was wondering if you know of any fur meets in the local area. Let the conversation flow naturally. Ask questions to find out more about this person. And more often than not, they'll ask you questions as well and you can answer them. You can ask them questions like, what is your persona species? Oh, a fox? Cool, mine's a dragon. So now you've introduced yourself, we now move on to the next section. Maintaining communication. Now that initial contact and introductions have been made, now you can casually chat with your new acquaintance. Now what not to do. Hey there friend, hope I'm not bothering you, but have you seen this? Gosh, I wish you could see this right now. That's probably up at TMI, but I got another shower, just got another shower, wanna see? I'm JK, JK, uh, I'm about to have dinner now soon, uh, but my mom's so annoying. Friend, are you there? Hello? 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 <laughs> so there are several things wrong with this picture. First of all, and I, got, I want you guys to repeat after me, friendship can't be forced. Repeat. Friendship can't be forced, not with anybody. So don't constantly message them every day with random stuff. Friendship develops over time and has to be mutual. So if they don't wanna be friends with you, respect that. There are many other people out there just waiting to meet and chat with the amazing person that is you. Also, all the conversation topics are about thing that, things that they really can't converse with. Aim for discussion topics that can involve both of you. Find similar interests and you'll find yourself being able to chat for hours. Work on the relationship with this person over time and you'll become better and better friends as time goes on. Now, here's a couple tips on chatting with first online to help you out. Number one, responding can take a while. People have lives and you are not the center of it. Relax, take a deep breath. They'll respond when they're ready. And number two, don't stalk when they're last active. People also have other people to talk to other than you. They might be in the middle of helping or consoling a friend so can't respond. You don't know. Like before, just relax and wait patiently. Number three, you don't have to talk every day for friendship to be maintained. Everyday conversations are not essential for friendship to happen. If you have something to talk about, then do. But if you don't, don't force it. And number four, be yourself. Don't change yourself for others for the sake of friendship. True friends will love you for who you are and be brave enough to see the difference. So that was my quick guide on how to make friends in the fandom online. Hope you all enjoyed, hope it helped you out, and I'll see you all in the next episode of Maker's Guide. Bye bye now.